Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Welcome to the City of Douglas Mayor and Commission. This will serve as our regular meeting for December the 23rd, 2019. The next thing on the agenda is the invocation, and Commissioner Dern will lead us through that. Commissioner Dern. Good evening. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, Good evening. everybody. Good, Good evening. evening. This time we're going to have prayer by Minister Tracy Toons of New Beulah Baptist Church, Ray, Georgia. And we're going to ask her to come up this time and give us our prayer. Thanks. Hello, how y'all doing? Good evening. Mayor Powell, Commissioner. <laughs> I truly love y'all. Thanks for everyone. Let me do this opportunity. Help. Amen. Amen. Will y'all please bow your head? Oh, my gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we just want to come to you tonight, God. Lord, we want to thank you, God, for this day, God. Lord, we ask you, God, as we go into this meeting on tonight, God, Lord, we ask you for everyone to get on one accord, Heavenly Father. Lord, just so they may be able to do the things, God, they need to do for your people, God. Not for themselves, God, but for your people, God. And, Lord, as they come to an end, Heavenly Father, everybody still love each other, care for each other, Heavenly Father, and do what's right by you, God. And, Lord, as this day come to an end, God, we never forget about you, God, who got it all started, God. And, Lord, we forever give you all the thanks, the praise, in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Minister Dudes. Next on the agenda, we have the Pledge of Allegiance. As always, we're going to be led in the Pledge of Allegiance by Coffee County's Navy Junior ROTC. And tonight, representing uh, the Coffee County ROTC is Lieutenant Junior Grade Marino. If you would, please stand and face our nation's colors, our national colors. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated, please. Next on the agenda, we have approval of the order of the agenda. So moved. Second. second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <coughs> motion carries. Next item on the agenda is the oath of office for the elected officials and our city manager, uh, city attorney, Mr. <coughs> Jerome Adams, will lead us through this. Well, Mayor, before we get started, I'm going to ask that you all do something for me. Y'all need to set aside some funds for me for therapy after having to sit beside this kind of sweater that the city has. <laughs> Make sure you get that sweater. I know, right? Mayor, uh, Robert just told me on Doug just now I'm a hit on, on TV with this. Yes. Uh, <laughs> thing, so I want to make sure y'all get this. Yeah, we're, having, uh, we're having to face that tonight so I can keep a straight face. All right, we'll do the oath. If all the city commissioners would rise, please. Are there any spouses that want to come stand with their with their commissioner just for a photo out, come hang out? Spouses or family members? Family members would be fine. Mm -hmm. I should have done it out front. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we move out front. Let's move out front. Let's everybody move out front. It's going to get tight. <laughs> Scoop them crutches up, I'm out of here. Commissioner would raise your right hand. 
I'm going to read the oath, and when I read, when I finish reading the oath, all you have to do is say, I will or I do. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully perform the duties of commission member of this city and that I will support and defend the charter thereof as well as the Constitution and laws of the state of Georgia and of the United States of America. I do. Thank you. Congratulations. You got it. say thank you and congratulations to each one of y'all for uh, re-election and what's better than election every four years now we have elections every two years and so just a reminder now uh, wards uh, one four and five they'll be up for re-election in two years and then at that point they will be on a four-year staggered term Correct. from that election so from this point forward city douglas will be in elections every two years for staggered term purposes Correct. so yeah i said every four years now we're getting ready every two years uh -huh. you ready? good stuff get All ready right. On uh, uh, item four here, consent agenda items, we have 11 items coming over. All right. Um, the items are for the consent agenda. Approval of the December 9, 2019 minutes. Item four, approval of the purchase of a new 2020 3,500 pound lifting capacity forklift. Item uh, nine, approval of the appointments to the Downtown Development Authority. Item 10, uh, approval of the appointments to the Historic Preservation Commission. Item 11, approval of the appointment to the Zoning Board of Appeals. Item 12, approval of the conceptual plan for the downtown pocket park. Item 13, uh, approval um, of the architectural services uh, for the community development block grant to Vic Suttles and Associates. Item 14, approval of the 2020 Elmig Street listing for the Marion Commission to approve, and that was for option three on that list. Correct. Uh, item 15, approval of the uh, animal shelter agreement. Item 16, approval of the library library appointment, board appointments. Item uh, 18, approval of the date change for the upcoming meeting in January. The last meeting of, uh, of January will be moved to that uh, Thursday the 30th. And that's all the items on the consent agenda. Uh, the items on the consent agenda have been read by the city manager. At this time, I'll entertain the motion. So moved. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is work session items brought forward for discussion. And again, we'll turn that over to our city manager to lead us through this. We have five items coming over on, on to, to be uh, discussed individually. The first item will be item two, uh, discuss the appointment to the Housing Authority Board, Winnetta Boulder City Clerk. 
Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Um, it is staff uh, recommendation that we properly publicize um, the vacancy for the Housing Authority Commission for two weeks, and then we'll bring it back to the agenda um, for approval of an appointment. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So if anyone is interested, come see the city clerk or um, see the uh, city manager's office. Next. Item 5 uh, will be the uh, first reading of the Clean Indoor Air Ordinance Amendment. Jerome Adams. Okay, this will be the first reading. This will be an ordinance for the City of Douglas, Georgia Code of Ordinance to amend the City of Douglas Code of Ordinances, Chapter, Thir Chapter 50, Health and Sanitation, Clean Indoor Air, Section 50-57, to provide for an effective date for other purposes, be ordained by the Mayor Board of Commission, City of Douglas, and regular meeting assembly pursuant to law, Florida, thereof. Health and Sanitation Order to see if Douglas Georgia's amended and staff amended is followed by amended section 50-5788A to read the following bars and restaurants as follows. All bars and restaurants to which access is denied to any person under the age of 18 who is not employed in an individual under the age of 18, often read the first time at a regular meeting of the Mayor Board of Committee to see Douglas Georgia on December 23rd, 2019. And we'll have the second reading of this order on January 13th. Good deal. Next, Next item, item 7. Um, the uh, first reading of the rezoning application for the property at 412 West Walker Street. This will be the first reading. We'll have a second reading on January 13th, at which time we will have a public hearing, which we must have public hearings on all rezoning applications. Be ordained by the Mayor and Board of Commissioners, City of Dux, Georgia, is hereby ordained by authority, same from that passage of this ordinance, both the Unified Land Development Code of the City of Dux, Georgia, adopted by the Mayor and Board of Commissioners, City of Dux, Georgia, on February 28, 2011, as amended in the comprehensive plan. Of the City of Douglas, Georgia, adopted by the Mayor Board of Commission of the City of Douglas, Georgia, on October 8, 2007, as amended, and has amended, follows, follows, scribe, track, land, she had to be done on RP, residential, professional, all that track, or parcel, land, she lying, being and located in Coffee County, Georgia, and being more particular, scribe, tracks 1 to 5, according to a flat dated April 21, 2014, for Dennis Josie and Ricardo Curtis by Statewide Surveying Company, recorded in Platte Book 114.6B in the Office of Clerk Superior Court of Coffee County, Georgia, often read for the first time at a regular meeting of the Mayor Board of Commission City of Douglas, Georgia, on December 23, 2019. Thank you. Okay, next item, item 8, same thing, uh, uh, first reading of the rezoning <laughs> application for the property at 1303 South Peterson Avenue. Be it, ordained, be it ordained by the Mayor Board of Commission of the City of Douglas, Georgia, City of ordained for by authority of the same from and after passage of this order by the Unified Land Development Code of the City of Douglas, Georgia, adopted by the Mayor Board of Commission of the City of Douglas, Georgia on February 28, 2011, as amended in comprehensive plan of the City of Douglas, Georgia, adopted by the Mayor Board of Commission of the City of Douglas, Georgia on October 8, 2007, as amended and stands amended as follows, following the tract of tra 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 land here. Here after be zoned PD plan development, all that tract of parcel land like such as being in the City of Douglas, land lot number 175 in the 6th land district. Of Coffee County, Georgia, being more particular, described as follows: said tract of land contained 24.26 acres, and being a portion of survey for Jones County by Kirby Holden, recorded in the <coughs> book 1886, page 36, in the public record of Coffee County, Georgia, often read for the first time at a regular meeting of Mayor Board of Commissioners on December 23rd, 2019, and we will also have a second reading on January 13th, at which time we will also have a public hearing. Next item will be item 17, uh, announce the EDA appointment. Uh, currently we have one vacancy at EDA that will be expiring uh, on December 31st, and we're announcing that we'll be running advertisements for that. So if you're interested in serving on the EDA board, please fill out an application with the city clerk's office or the city manager's office. Good deal. That's all the items from the work session. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is staff comments. We have uh, no staff comments, but um, um, Pastor Willie Williams um, will be speaking on his item. Good evening, Pastor. Hey, good evening again, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'd like to say again, good evening to the mayor and the commission. My name is Pastor Willie Williams. I'm the senior pastor of the Emmanuel Praise Tabernacle Church in Ellington, Georgia. I'm also the president of the Coffee County Ministerial Association here in Douglas, Georgia, and I'm here tonight because I would like to invite you, the mayor, and the commission to come out and be a part of our community-wide revival, which starts on Sunday night, January the 5th, through Tuesday night, January the 7th, and it'll be held at the um, Coffee County Middle School. Not only would we like to invite the mayor and the commission, we would also like to invite our whole community to come out and be a part of this great revival come and worship 
with us as we are seeking God not only for our city, but we're seeking God for our state and for our nation. Uh, as you look around and uh, see things that are going on, I think in this nation we are we are ripe for revival. We need God to move as as never before, and uh, we're not coming together to tell God to revive us. We're coming to ask God to revive us, and uh, we we've done this for the last uh, three to four years. Uh, has been great successes. Uh, God has brought in masses of people. And uh, whenever we say community, uh, the community is not just the church, but the community cons consists of all different types of people from all different walks of life. And we just uh, <laughs> want to come personally and invite this mayor and this commission to come out and be a part of what we are doing in the community. We've seen you guys there before, and we just want to support to just come out and, and just be with us. And uh, uh, we, this, is a, this is a praying town. This is a praying city. As I look, I grew up here, lived in Atlanta for 30 years. Uh, there are a lot of things that happen, storms, different things. Have you ever noticed that they always kind of go around us? Amen. Amen. I just, Amen. I just tell you, the hand of God is over this city because I believe that somebody is praying. Amen. Somebody is looking to the Lord. Uh, and just, I'm going to say this. Uh, this is the last meeting uh, as we're going into a new decade. Not only are we going into a new year. But we're going into a new decade. So I, I don't think I ever forget where I was coming out of 2019 going into 2020. I, I have the privilege to say uh, that I was a part of the last <coughs> meeting of a decade mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. at Douglas, Georgia. Yeah. Thank you guys for allowing me this time. I appreciate it. And Charlie's sweater is ugly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for the invitation, Pastor. Thank you for the first invitation. All right. There are no more comments at this time. I invite you to get saved. So moved. There's been a motion to second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. We stand adjourned. Good deal. Mr. Pearson.